The next basic concept we're going to talk about is this. Most of us, when we start out as parents or teachers, dealing with children, we carry with us an erroneous expectation about kids. And this underlying idea, this assumption, this expectation causes a lot of trouble in our relationships with the kids because it causes us to talk too much. The assumption I'm talking about is what we call the little adult assumption. The little adult assumption is the idea that kids are just smaller than we are, but basically they have hearts of gold and they are reasonable and unselfish. You have a seven-year-old son, he's always teasing his four-year-old younger sister. What should you do? Well, if he's a little adult, you sit him down, you calmly look him in the, idea, in the eye, and you explain to him the three golden reasons why he shouldn't torture his little sister. Number one, it hurts her. Number two, it makes you mad at him. And number three, how would he feel if somebody treated him like that? If he is a little adult, his reaction will be slap himself upside the face, stagger back a few paces, he'll look at you and say, gee, I never looked at it like that before. And then he'll stop teasing her for the rest of his life. Those of you who smiled or laughed right then are parents of real kids. Because you know kids are not like that. One writer years ago uh, said, childhood is a period of transitory psychosis. Some of you know what that means. It means your kids, when they're little, are basically nuts. And whose job is it to make them sane? It's your job to make them sane and the teacher's job to make them sane. But let's face facts, kids when they're little are not little uh, not little adults. They're not uh, reasonable and unselfish. They're selfish and unreasonable. But if we believe this little adult idea, we're going to talk too much. Now, what's wrong with talking too much? People say, you know, more communication is good. No, it isn't. Communication can be extremely destructive. Let me tell you why. One thing wrong with talking too much is what we call the water off a duck's back syndrome. You ever had the feeling like you talk and talk and talk and talk to your kid? And it's like water off a duck's back. It has no, it has no effect. I saw a mother once, true story, a mother called me and she said, Dr. Phelan, I want you to see my 10-year-old son. I said, what's the problem? She said, I think he's hard of hearing. Well, the, kid was, the kid wasn't hard of hearing, the kid was hearing what he wanted to hear. 